Hey, Tyler here with Website Hosting Guides. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a GoDaddy domain name on your Bluehost hosting account. So you need two things when you're doing this. You obviously need a GoDaddy domain name and you need a Bluehost hosting account. So if you need a GoDaddy domain name, check out this link to get a 99 cent don't domain name from GoDaddy. Uh, if you need Bluehost, check out this link to see if there's any specials going on. That's websitehostingguides.com slash get Bluehost. Next, you'll want to log into your Bluehost account and log into the back end. It should take you to this page. So I'm on hosting and cPanel. Now what we want to do is we want to find our dedicated IP address or shared IP address and go ahead and copy that. Now we need to go over to GoDaddy, log into your account, and go to Visit My Account. After that, you can click this Domains drop-down and choose the domain name that you would like to um, point to Bluehost. Go ahead, find that, and then click Manage DNS. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna do this via IP address. So we're gonna change the A record. So click this edit button on the A record, paste the new IP address in there and click save. That's it. You've successfully pointed your GoDaddy domain name to your Bluehost hosting account. Okay, so now we have our GoDaddy domain name pointing to Bluehost. The next thing we need to do is go over to Bluehost and click on domains. And we actually want to add this domain name to Bluehost so that we can set up WordPress or whatever we want to build the site on. So we'll go ahead and click assign a domain name to your cPanel. Let's see what this was called. I'm just grabbing the domain name that we set up. Click use a domain name that's not already registered if you don't have this set up yet and paste it in here. So now it's verifying that the domain name is connected to Bluehost. So it went pretty fast. So um, here we go. It does say that it is verified. So we'll scroll down. This is an add-on domain name. Let's create a new directory for this. And all we need to do is click Assign This Domain. Okay, so after you install that, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. Looks like it's going to take a couple more minutes to set up. Um, the next thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to go back to your hosting cPanel. And I'm going to show you how to install WordPress real quick here. And then you'll just scroll down, click Install WordPress, and it'll pull up this page. And then you're going to click on the website that you want to set up. Go ahead and click Next. We don't want to put a directory on this. The site name. And then you want to put in your email address, username, and password. After you put in that, um, go ahead and click Next. And it will start installing WordPress. Okay, so it's installing. You'll come to a screen like this. They're going to try to get you to buy the themes, which you don't have to do unless you want to. After this is successfully done, we'll click View Your Credentials. And then we'll just go ahead and go over to the site here and make sure that it did install a new WordPress theme. So let me actually go ahead and just go to the front end. Yep, and it looks like WordPress did install successfully. So if you need Bluehost, go ahead to this link here to see if there's any promotional deals going on. Otherwise, you can learn more about Bluehost and other hosts by going to websitehostingguides.com. Hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.